Hello Virgos, this is your X reading for the 10th through the 16th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And let's see what your relationship was really like. Let's see. Hmm. Full of heartache full of disappointment hmm I feel like you guys hurt each other a lot I really feel like that and I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional maybe you guys just you know just weren't vibing on the same frequency you know it's how you viewed the relationship um I think you never really knew. You never really knew how to take the other person. You never really knew exactly where you guys were going. Um, a lot of you were just winging it, I feel. One day it could be up, one day it could be down. Let's see how your ex viewed the relationship. Hmm. Six of Swords. Your, your ex viewed this relationship as like they always had to remove themselves or to, to distance themselves from you in order to stay involved with you um, or involved with the relationship. It was like you guys always needed like a separation, like you couldn't be around each other all the time for things to be okay. Hmm. Let's see what the current situation is for you guys. <laughs> Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. Leo got this same, um, got the Ace of Wands in their current what's going on with them currently and this is um, feeling very drawn to something or someone something that you want to start something that you want to initiate even um, here let's see what that is possibly let's see what their current situation is hmm they're just trying to gain their emotional stability back um, I get that this person felt like they couldn't really be themselves, is what I'm feeling here. But they are, um, I think they're really trying to come to grips with, still with what happened between the two of you. And I think you guys are wanting to be on the upside of this relationship actually and start again because you always felt like it was it was like sometimes it's up sometimes it's down almost like this roller coaster kind of thing or even this cycle because you know sometimes this will of fortune it's like being in a cycle with somebody over and over and over again you guys you know you break up you get back together you're arguing this day the next day you loving on each other like crazy that kind of relationship okay so let's see how you see them let's see how you see them how you view them what is your perception hmm Hmm. You you not only do you think or you view them as somebody that speaks says what exactly is on their mind, but you feel like they can be a little cutting at times. You feel like they say things haphazardly. Um they're really not mindful of their mouth. I feel I also feel like um you think they can be quite cold, aloof here let's see how they view you hmm they view you as somebody that worries way too much 
Like you worry about all the little things. Um, every little thing bothers you is what I feel. Every little thing bothers you. Like they can't, they have to walk on eggshells with you is, is what I'm getting here. Okay. Let's see how you guys feel about getting back together. I think it's something that you definitely think about. Um, I don't see you making any moves towards this person, but I think you're hopeful. I think that, um, hmm, I think that, sorry guys, that you would like to see them um, come and make amends with you or try to make amends with you even because I think you guys feel like you invested a lot into this, um, that it's worth, it's worth saving. You know, it's worth working on some more here. <clears throat> they feel like it's over. Um, like, like it was almost inevitable that, you know, this situation ended. And I think because there was like always this back and forth, um, them removing themselves here, um, having to take a time out, having to walk on eggshells even. Um, yeah, they, they feel like, you know, that is, that is over because you guys probably had a very abrupt ending here. A lot of words were probably said. Um, a lot of hurtful words were probably said here. And um, so they also feel like um, that if you guys got back together, it would have to be totally different. Totally different than the way it was, okay? Let's see what you guys can do to help this connection along. I feel like to be more active, to to be more, um, to engage more, to be more understanding, to be a little, you know, less serious, you know, have more fire about you, have a little more playfulness about you. Don't take everything so very seriously. Don't take everything to heart. Kind of roll with the punches. And um, yeah. And I think be very, you know, more emotional. More emotionally involved, I feel. Okay. Let's see how can they help this along. Hmm. I think they need to be a little more understanding. I think they need to um, to devote a little more time, um, be a little more considerate here with their time. Maybe not just disappear when things start getting tough, I feel. Just to be fair in this situation and take you know, both sides, both, both of your feelings into account, realizing that people are different. Everybody's not going to behave the way that you behave or think the way that you think. And I think that is how, um, your ex needs to step up to the plate and, you know, realize that yes, their time is valuable but yours is as well. And how you communicate may be different than the way that they communicate, but it does not mean that it's wrong, that there is a middle ground there, okay? Let's see, is this, what is the, the outcome for this situation here? Hmm. I think there'll be some very shocking circumstances to um, come about here. I really do. One of you, I feel, will definitely reach out. I think one of you will wake up and feel like, wait a minute, you know, this is worth it. 
I do want to try and reach out to the other one. And this is going to be very, very shocking. It's what I feel. Okay. Very shocking. Also, um, I do feel like, you know, that something may happen, not, not like a death or anything, guys, but something may happen in this person's life because I do feel like you guys really care about each other, okay? But something may happen in this person's life where you need to be there for them or them for you. Um, it may be, you know, a house move or it may be, you know, a loss of a job or something. Um, it's going to be something I feel that's going to, that God is, is, is going to be truly divinely guided, whatever brings you guys back together, because it's going to, um, awaken something in you guys okay for a lot of you okay so let's go ahead and pull a romance angels card here give your relationship a chance work on your partnership I feel like that's coming I feel like that's coming because sometimes when we can't really figure out a way to do things, you know, that that good man above, he will make it so that everything comes together the way that it's supposed to. If you guys really both want it, I feel, and just really don't know how to make this happen. Okay. So that's what I have for you, my Virgos, and um, I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.